Hi, this is Lisa Ray, and you're watching WRUG. Mic check, one, two, one, two, man. We're here with Miss Lisa Ray, star of the hit show, my favorite show, Single Ladies. Now, you had such an amazing career, but more recently, you kind of just blew my mind with the show Single Ladies because typically men don't tend to gravitate to shows like that, but, uh -huh. but I had all the homies sitting around yeah. the TV glued yeah. every week. I believe you because a lot of men will come up to me and say, I watch your show, and then they'll, they'll back that up by saying, uh, my wife uh, has me watching it, or my girlfriend is like, it's okay, it's okay that you watch it too, so you're absolutely correct in that. So how do you make a transition from movies to just such a serious drama? Well, you know, before I was doing Single Ladies, I did the sitcom, All of Us, mm -hmm. and I did that for four years, and that's kind of where I kind of learned comedy, the timing of comedy, and I really kind of grew in love with the consistency of a check. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That was that stability for me. And besides that, coming from TV, being funny, and being able to use that now in single ladies, but still be a grown woman on TV representing that, that makes me feel really grand. That makes me feel more empowered of the type of woman and where my womanhood has taken me thus far. You know? So if you could say something to encourage our sisters out there that might want to break into the business, what would you say to them? You know what, the game has changed so much now. I could have given different type of advice even five years ago opposed to what I would do now because reality TV has taken over so big. And I'm not a huge fan of reality TV and all of the things that's on TV now. I'm more in a different place of empowering uh, other people. Not so much with buffoonery and, and craziness, but more with just your life experience. And if it's too dirty or too grimy or too ratchet, keep it to yourself. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because there are younger people and young adults and kids watching that and they're mimicking that because that is the way that they they live their life off of videos and the music and so that's bad enough that we can't control that. So if we can't control how we are seen in the public eye because the people have given us a platform in which to use and we don't use it in a positive way, we fall victim of the prey of sex sales and drama sales till you just become not really a real star, you become a star of your show and so that's not skillful. And for me, I'm an actress, I have skill. So that sets me aside, and so I don't even like to be in the same category as that. So I'm not really a fan of that, although I've had my own reality show, but it was not nearly like that, and never won't be. We have to stand for something. What's the typical saying? We'll fall for anything. Yeah, I heard